Hi everybody, Mark here. I'm on one rapid response. I got a 2020 Ford F-150 that we made here for Reams Fire Department. A really cool build, a ton of function. I'm probably not even gonna remember all of it to go over it with you. It's, it's, it's uh, just a ton of cool stuff. It has wheel and core in it, so it just does all kinds of, of, of uh, uh, good things. Uh, very effective, uh, makes the response safer, etc. So we're gonna start here in the front. We got a Weston push bar. Here in the front, we have the integrated four across the top, which are the wheel and ions in it. We have two siren speakers from wheel in there on the push bar, very loud because they're right out front. And then we have the uh, Summit wheel and light, which has uh, right now, it's doing its red warning. It also has your uh, floodlight capabilities. It also has uh, white flashing capability and also marker light capability, which I'm gonna show you as well here in a little bit. In the visor, we have the uh, full size visor light. Uh, it has the uh, uh, silicone type optic lenses, so it throws a lot of light to the angle, which is very nice with, with, the, with this wheel and visor. Uh, right now we're in park mode, slider position three, just so you know where we're at, which is why the uh, warning patterns are auto set to, to default to that when it's put in park in slider three. We're gonna walk around the side here. So we have, uh, we have a, a side push bar light on, which is the M4 light. That M4 light is very effective for going into an intersection. It's very bright. It also has uh, white flashing as well. Again, I'm gonna show you some of that function as well here in a little bit. Come back around to the side and the fender, another M4 light. As you can see, we have synchronization going on throughout the entire truck. It's the thing that core really gives us. It makes a very nice function. We're gonna hit a little bit here in the uh, Argus. So this is a, a really cool product. Mounts here in the F-150 fender, as you can see. This has spot flood combination in it, and we can turn that from inside the vehicle, or we can push a manual mode and actually grab a hold of it and move it out here. So if we're outside the vehicle uh, and we will want to move it to physically point it, we can do that as well. We'll go over some of that function. The side of the vehicle, we have the wheel and tracer. So right now the white light is on because the door's cracked. If I shut the door, the light's going to go into flash mode. And again, that's gonna change a little bit as we change it out of park and things like that. We can, we can make that do different stuff. The graphics here are done in-house, 100% in-house by Market Graphics. So one thing that we pride ourselves on is a one-stop shop. And what this allows us to do, it has all printing the whole way across. This logo is not laid on top of any of the striping, it's printed the whole way through. So that way, as this customer takes care of this vehicle in the future, saves money long term for the customers. They don't have to rebuy graphics from things peeling and lifting up because it's all one piece, something we pride ourselves in here at Rapid Response and Market Graphics. As we go to the back, we've installed an ARE cap. This cap has side flip up doors. Now this isn't your typical commercial series cap. This is a fiberglass cap, as you can see, but with the commercial boxes. So for a vehicle that's more of a Chiefs vehicle, instead of having an aluminum style fiberglass box in the back, this gives you a much more streamlined, uh, professional look, we would call it, and so it gives you the compartment, compartments inside. Then we have a flashlight holder and also a Knox box system in there as well that's wired up. There is compartment lighting in here as well, and we install mercury switches here on the flip up glass to activate those, those, uh, those compartment lights. Got another M4 here in the back. Again, right now we're in obvious mode. Swing the whole way around to the back of the vehicle here. Does something a little different. This inner visor light, rear visor, is actually made for the back of an F-150. We've adapted it and made it work with wheel and core in the back of the cap. Gives you full length lighting from one end to the other by doing it that way. Spaces the modules a little bit in between because it actually makes it more effective when we're using arrow stick mode. We have some M4s here in the back tailgate, and we have a wheeling uh, five head tracer on the bottom underneath the uh, tailgate here. When I open this up, this is on a uh, Mercury switch as well, turns on compartment lights. Not sure how good the video shows you, but it automatically dims this rear stick light so it's not standing here blinding me as I'm standing here. I can look in here and I don't have halos going around my eyes looking in and, and at this box, which is very nice. It also dims some of this stuff back here too. I gotta obviously unlock the truck to open it up. But we have uh, uh, two radios mounted back here. 
that the customer can use standing back here in an operation if they need to, they can, they can get to the radios. Let me unlock this real quick. So when we flip down the tailgate on this, we're gonna have an extendo bed slide out tray. We're big fans of extendo bed. Uh, the quality of the extendo bed is phenomenal. It pulls out the whole way, actually about five, 10% past the ex uh, normal extensions, so you can access everything. The uh, box that you see here in the back is made from our uh, Vengen uh, Manufacturing Division, also known as Vengen Apparatus. It's an aluminum box. Then we powder coated it um, in-house as well. This is just basically made to put some gear in here, some fire extinguishers, and just some other area for, for other, uh, other compartments. But like I said, this pulls the whole way out. So you can come around to the back side and you can get all your gear and stuff in in here you can still access this bed versus a lot of other bed slides you know this stops partially way in and you kind of lose this this bed slide area so now we're going to take you to some functionality and after that we're going to show you some interior stuff okay now we're going to go over some functionality of this truck and the functions that are offered with it so right now as you can see we're in slider position three park position we're in our standard warning mode if i go and open up the driver's side what it's going to do is it's going to turn on my left alley lights along the side and it's going to automatically turn on a left arrow stick. Now that arrow stick will also turn on if the warning lights are not on. This is all customer really preference. Uh, it takes us about eight, eight hours, ten hours give or take, but a good full day just to do programming after we build a vehicle like this because uh, that's really where you get your functionality out of it. So how I'm going to go, I'm going to put the vehicle, uh, I'm going to hit the brake lights with warning lights on, and you're going to see modules come on steady burn, okay? And then I'm going to turn the warning lights off and go into reverse so you can see reverse function. Again, this is all parameters that we're setting, you know, uh, this function overrides this function, this function overrides this function is, is how we're doing this. So uh, first is going to be brake lights with warning lights on. And then we're going to do, I'm going to turn off the warning lights all together. This is safe, I promise I'm a professional. And then there's your reverse lights, okay? I'll turn some lights back on here. Okay, now we're back on slider three. So we're going to have you come around to the side here. And uh, I'm going to show you some other function at the front of the vehicle. So right now I'm slider three. I'm gonna go into drive mode. So now you can see we've activated a white flashing across the front of the vehicle. This is slider position two. And then that's slider position one. So we're back on slider position three. I'm going to put it back in park, and now I'm going to put the e-brake on. So that's e activation. So e-brake is going to uh, change and do more of a command function, where maybe you have uh, your parked in and uh, you want to change something that the e-brake is going to the e-brake is going to change at. which it shows it to you there. So e brake on. We're gonna go through our DVI patterns there with it that way. So what we're doing is, is this is one thing that was uh, 
a big thing with wheel and core when it was brought out is to automatically dim these. We're actually not shutting off the light. We're, we're, we're slowly increasing the brightness and we're slowly decreasing the brightness in this. It makes it extremely effective at nighttime. You're not blinding other oncoming. You're not blinding people by doing it this way. And of course, everything is obviously synchronized then as well. But we can do this with the ions. We have the M4 set doing it. Even the front stick light there is doing it as well. We have the visor light doing it. And obviously around the back of the truck as well. And then once I take my e-brake back off, we'll go right back into that warning mode. Okay, I'm going to run through some siren tones with you. Just a little bit. Now remember this has park kill on it, so we got to put it in drive. It's a pretty famous tone there. Okay, so as you can see there, there's a ton of siren tones in this thing. We can activate it with the slider switch. We can also activate it by pushing buttons on the second siren. And then we can also do activation through the steering wheel itself. Honestly, it sounds like a whole lot going on and it sounds very confusing, but it's, it's not. It's actually very simple and easy to use. We're going to show you some of that functionality inside. I'm going to go over uh, um, some scene light options as well for you. Left scene, right scene. That type of stuff, I'm gonna have to shut the door for that. Okay, so now we're gonna show you some uh, um, scene lighting. So first push, first push here is gonna be my uh, tracers, and I'm gonna push it again, and it's gonna turn on my M4 lights, if you see that, okay? And then the right side's gonna operate the same way. And then when we go out the front, my first push is gonna do scene lights, push it again, it's gonna give me more scene lights, and push it a third time, it's going to give me my visor at the top here in a scene light. And then the next button's off. And then I also have a cruise mode on here, which is just a typical cruise mode. I do have a button for command as well, but it also activates, like I said, in the uh, in the e-brake mode. But I also have a button to turn it on too, so if I want to turn the DVI patterns on in the command mode, I can do that. And then I have my arrow stick left, right, center out, etc. on my arrow stick as well. Okay, so we're inside the vehicle and we have uh, our Havis console. This is the F-150 specific console, so it fits real nice into the dash. It has a run bucket, which is standard here on this model. We, we installed two uh, armrests. And to match the two radios in the back, has the two radios in the front. And then we have our siren controller with all this function I was telling you about. So we have our buttons across the top, our slider switch button, auxiliary one, auxiliary two. We also have a howler in this as, as well, which is a bass tone. You really can't hear it through the, through the speaker system on the, on the um, video here, but it does have a howler as well in it. So we can run howler and then two different siren tones at one time, which is really nice. This is the Argus light. Um, this lets us activate this left, right, up, down. There's a home button, which will stow it. And then if we push on off once, we'll get the uh, spot, push it again, we'll get flood. And then we also get the manual button that I talked about. So if you push the manual button, I can go and actually grab a hold of it and move it. So, but very good functionality. This is very impressive light that, that wheel and design. It, uh, it's very smooth operation. It works very well. Um, a lot of people were hesitant at first, myself honestly included. I wasn't sure how uh, this was going to feel like, you know, um, like an old spotlight, you know, on the pillar that 
was kind of more of a feel, but this, they did a really good job at, at this uh, operation. Um, the resistance in the knob versus the responsiveness with the actual light itself. There's no lag time or nothing, so it works, it works very smooth. We do have a Havis iPad dock here. It's a very simple iPad dock. They can dock it. There is a preemption, da preemption light there on the dash, which is activated with the switch here per customer request. We added a flashlight that's obviously out of our store. Um, if you were never here before, we have a huge walk-in retail store. We have people drive from all over the, the, uh, the states, and I say states, from Montana to wherever just to visit us and, and, and see our operation, which you're always welcome to stop in, take a look. You know, you can ask for me if I'm available. I'd be more than happy to give you a tour, or any of the guys really would, but that's what we're here to. We're here to promote uh, not just the product that we sell, but our employees and, and, and the uh, type of business that we represent. So we also like to take a lot of pride in our um, wiring, and uh, we're gonna show you that here. If you look in the back window there, this is, this is such a cool thing. The, the, you know, you get all the, the bells and whistles on the outside that just look neat, but when, when it comes down to operation and making things work, this is where it's at, you know? So we're able to do a mounting platform in the back we, we pride ourselves in, in quality control, uh, very little no returns on, on our side, which, which makes us a very successful in what we do. And, uh, you know, like I've said, any job, you know, any job we can basically handle. And, and that, that operation and that electrical wiring back there is, is for sure bar none and will last for, for several years. You know, everything gets documented by, by shop techs. We actually do color-coded wiring throughout the entire vehicle, braided looms, braided color looms, so dealers know not to mess with the rapid response upfits. It's uh, leap years, you know, beyond um, the way with the way it's done elsewhere. So, and we pride ourselves in that, and we're we're real happy about it. So as I'm sitting in here too, we do have some actually other interior lights. Like I said, there's going to be some function in here that I'm just going to physically miss myself. But uh, you know we have we do have interior lights, white and red. Uh, you know Ford does give you them, but when you're trying to write a report or you know you're on an accident and you're trying to write information down or on a fire, it just you know standard standard lights isn't enough. This is this is a super nice function because of it. So we got some radio chargers mounted. We got a lock box here in the center. You know just to keep uh, locked belongings. You know if you have to that type of thing for security purposes. But uh, overall, fantastic truck, awesome build. Um, I personally and, and, and our staff here at Rapid Response wants to thank, you know, Reams Fire Company. The vehicle itself uh, came from Whit Moyer Ford, one of the many Ford dealerships that we work closely with. And uh, we appreciate your business. We appreciate the, uh, the trust in uh, Rapid Response and its shop techs and providing you a vehicle that's going to last for several years and get you to call safely and, and uh, safely uh, take care of your your residents in your area and surrounding so again thank you we, we greatly appreciate it if you ever have any questions like i said stop in take a look watch us on social media give us a call shoot us an email whichever route we'd be more than happy to help you out thank you everybody and have a one uh, have a fantastic day